Hi everyone, this is Abrar. Welcome to Abrar Knowledge Channel. Today's topic is very special topic. The topic is process capability six pack. Uh, six pack, you might have heard this term that six pack meaning like having the good shape of the body. Uh, exactly the same thing like how the process is whether the process is healthy or not healthy. We're gonna six. Uh, we're gonna see in six dimensions. So this is going to be very interesting. We often talk about CP. We often talk about uh, CPK, PP, PPK, and all that. But this is something actually the same subject but little deeper. And please stay tuned till the end. You will get the entire uh, concept and you will start using the process capability also as well. So in this example, I have picked up uh, three things, three case studies I have picked up. One is shirt cutting machine has got the uh, variables, has got the values. That value we're gonna uh, input into many tab and many tab we're gonna learn something process capability six pack. Another example I have taken from KPO service. Another example is a cricket ball diameter. So these three, uh, you know, example which we are going to mull over. So this is the one the shirt manufacturer wants to assess the performance of shirt cutting machine. He has audited 100, that is n equal to 100, 16 inch neck size shirt. The shirt accepted specification is 16 is the target plus or minus 0.5. So what is ZST? Z meaning like performance, short term value. There is two things are there. One is called short term performance, long term performance. So we can also find it out from the mini tab also as well. So this is the, the when you go to start, you will have a quality tools and capability analysis. That's generally we use it. We can also use it capability uh, six packs also as well. And now we need to tell that, you know, uh, the, we need to feed the values, everything, and then it will automatically will give the uh, values to us. So we're going to do it in the mini tab. This just to give you a quick gist of uh, how the, to, I mean, how it looks like uh, and how the navigation is all about. That's the reason I picked up this uh, window. Another one is, uh, uh, the same thing if you do that so we, we know the formula called z, z bench or z benchmark z lt equal to long term performance plus short term performance for example if you get the value of 1.72 uh, that means we need to if if you are assuming that the shift is 1.5 we need to add uh, 1.5 and then the value will come 3.2 so uh, we, we are going to see uh, uh, you know, real-time example, real-time demo using Minita. So the second example I picked up, uh, a KPO processes reimbursement bills for their customer. The average time uh, should be no more than 30 minutes. So in this case, how we are going to keep it? If you have only uh, you know, one limit, like no uh, you know, less, I mean, no less than 30 minutes. That means we are going to have lower spec as one, higher spec is uh, 30. And in the same case, we're going to find out ZST, uh, short term performance. So this is a, a second example. Third one is we have the cricket ball. The circumference of uh, the cricket ball should be between 224 and 229. 224, I will take it as a, a LSL. 229, I will take it as a USL. A company A collected, company A collected the sample of 100 cricket balls and recorded the circumference of the cricket ball. So let's go in the mini tab. So I have already taken down these value. One is a neck, shirt, neck size, that is the shirt example. Another one is a process time for the KPO services. Another one example is cricket ball diameter. So let's go one by one. So here my n value for all of these happen to be 100 you can see 100 values i have variables uh, my mini tab is denoting as c1 c3 c4 because these are all the variables and the variable one good point about the mini tab is if i try to feed any text it will not accept for example uh, let me feed some text in one at one 
it will not accept because that val that column has been reserved for uh, values. So that's one of the POCA UK and mistake proofing they have done inside the mini tab. So this is one example, next size example, go to start, go, go to quality tools. In that you have both the thing. One is called capability analysis. That's what generally we see. We wanted to find out CP, CPK style forward. You can use it. No, you wanted to find out ZST, uh, short term performance. Then you need to pick it up uh, capability six pack. My data is a normal, so I'm going to pick up. So next size and subgroup size is my 100 and lower spec in this next example the lower spec go to the ppt and we can pick it up the values uh, lower spec 16 plus or minus 0 0.5 my lower spec is 15.5 uh, higher spec is 16 and then you have something called estimate in estimate you just see around uh, there is something called within subgroup and overall capability. So I'm going to select both. Give OK. And options. And here I can feed the target, right? So the target is 16. And benchmark Z level. This is the default one, what you get it. CPPP, uh, CPCPK, PPPPK. So I'm going to ask for benchmark. So you can give a title here. So title is shirt neck size. Give OK. And then you can give OK. So the uh, six pack data is uh, ready. The first thing you find is X bar. Uh, the average for the entire 100 sample, the average is uh, 15.99 maybe I will use the pointer so you can see here 15.9924 uh, uh, why it has taken x is bar because actually we are talking about 100 samples in the variable chart you have uh, IMR chart x bar R chart and x bar S yes chart since we are talking about more samples that is 100 so that's the reason it has taken uh, S bar so subgroup, I have taken 100 as a subgroup. So this is the capability analysis you get. So LSL is 15.5, USL is 16.5, I think 16.5. I have given incorrectly, no problem. So you can easily correct it. You can go back to edit loss window and you can where you can feed 15.16.5. You okay, no problem. So I'm going to clear this up, have a double click on this. So we got 15.994 and the same value we got. Here we got LSL equal to 15.5, uh, USL equal to 16.5. The target is 16. So uh, you can see the process, how the process, because it has been uh, spread and it has uh, the rejection, anything which goes outside the uh, USL and is, I mean out, outer layer of uh, LSL, those things are rejections. So you get the normal probability plot, AD equal to 0.27 and P equal to 0.6. You also get like a standard deviation overall within an spec. So when it comes to this, you can see here the standard deviation is 0.24. Uh, Z bench, Z bench is something which we are interested to look for, right? 1.72. That 1.72, if you wanted to find out the uh, long term, you can you can add it 1.5. That means 3.32, you will get it, right? So that's something Z bench we got in the performance. And CPK we got 0.66, that is mean two sigma. Uh, it has a huge scope for uh, improving the mean, uh, improving the uh, mean, mean. When I say mean, I'm, I'm referring to this value, improving the mean and improving uh, the process centeredness. PPM, we have got 43,000, 43,118 uh, 43, uh, we got. So the same thing you got the within, within is something like what the value we feed into the mini tab, that's called within. 
and overall uh, you know how much the standard deviation and all that we have got this is example number one so i need to change the same thing i need to do it for another one very simple we can go to edit a last dialog or you can give control e have a go and i'm going to replace con next size into the next example process time processing time here also i have the same subgroup is 100 and uh, the limit let's see the limit so it should not exceed uh, 30 minutes so lower limit uh, spec is 1 higher is 30 and then you can go to options because we need to vary the uh, they have not given the target yet so here i can change that processing time kpo processing time you can give okay you can give okay so you got uh, here uh, here the uh, the x bar the process grand average you got 22.0 uh, 092 and uh, is bar chart because it's a top, we are talking about 100 samples some uh, sample group is subgroup sample is 100 and this is the lsl we got usl we got we have not paid any target but uh, the customer has given that you know it should not exceed uh, 30 minutes so this is the value we got and here we got like uh, standard division uh, 5.97 z bench the performance of the process 1.32 you may add it if you are considering the one uh, long term if you wanted to find out you can add one plus uh, five as well the shift is uh, 1.5 and cpk 0.44 that means it's uh, less than two sigma again you will have a lot of variation i mean uh, variations and we need to improve the mean value and we need to improve uh, we need to come uh, closer to the mean value and also we need to improve the standard deviation as well so 93,000 we got as a PPM. So this is within the data which we have fed. This is overall. So let's do it for one last thing. That is uh, edit last control E can give. Okay, and I'm going to delete the process time. I'm going to pick up cricket ball. And here in the cricket ball, see the dimensions. Two two four and two two nine. Two to four and two to nine and uh, again options I, I can go to the options i can uh, change it to get all and then give okay and here uh, the uh, the grand average uh, that is called x double but process mean equal to two to six 0.365 the is bar uh, is 1.63 and subgroup is 100 and process capability histogram is lsl equal to 24 usl equal to 2 to 9 and it goes on and you have within and overall 1.63 and z bench is 1.14 cpk equal to 0.48 again the process is not capable and uh, you have 12,000 I mean, one lakh. You have more thing. One lakh twenty seven thousand nine forty as a PPM. So from there, PPM also you can convert into uh, you know uh, six sigma level of assessment. So there are many ways we can do that. So uh, and if you wanted to go to control E, if you wanted to see a normal, uh, you know, only the capability uh, statistic like only CPCPK, also you can do. You can give OK. The same data we got, but only thing is uh, Z bench value will not be there. So that's the only difference. So if you, it's always better that we can also require for Z, uh, I mean Z bench value or performance of the process also we can pull it. So how you can do, you can just go to the benchmark Z's, that is performance one, Sigma level. So you can give OK and you can give overall OK. I hope you got benefited from this video. Please stay tuned uh, you know, for more upcoming videos and please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Have a nice day ahead.